Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Did you all grab a drink? Good. Okay, so in this section, we're going to be toning and conditioning the lower part of the body, mainly your thighs and your bottom. We're all using weights here, so again, remember, if it gets too much for you, if you're not familiar with this type of workout, you can put the weights down. You get enough resistance just by using your body. All right, so what I'd like you to do is just take your legs slightly apart, roughly shoulder width apart. Bring the arms in front of your body, because when we squat, we want to balance that body weight out. And tap your toes a few times. And the reason why we're doing this is I want you to be aware of your body weight. I want your body weight in your heels as you squat down, so you can freely lift up your toes. So pull your abs in tight. We're going to take two squats down, two squats up, after four, three, two, two down, bringing it down and down and lift and again and down and down. This is good. So remember your body weight's in your heels, your stomach is tight, make sure that you're not dropping your upper body weight forwards. All right, so I call them tabletops. None of this, this is wrong, none of this. Okay, so you're going to be bending your legs, sitting back into a 90 degree angle. That's the angle there. Sit right back into your heels. Give me another two more doubles. Bringing it down for two and up for two. One more time. Good. Now take three down, one up. Here's three, two, one, and lift. Imagine you've got a tray on your head or a book, yes? You don't want it to fall. So you have a nice upright posture. One more, three, two, reverse it. Down one and down, up three. Real control, down one. A little bit tougher, up three. Good, do it again, two more. And down, lift, lift, one more time. How's it starting to feel? Give me four counts down. Here's four, three, two, four up. Control, oh yes, now it's biting. Four down. How's it feeling, guys? It's good for me, is it good for you? Good, two more times, four down. Stomach tight, four up and lift. Yes, four down, last time. Great, four up. Okay, let's take singles, one of each, and down and up. Good, how's it feeling for you? How are your thighs, are they starting to burn a little bit? Thighs good, everyone? Yes, excellent, good. Last one, pulse this down for me. Last eight pulses. Good, give me four more. Four, three, two, and march it out. Woo, well done. How are your legs after that? Mine are feeling great. Okay, so have a quick breather. Keep your feet together. Okay, we're going to put the weights on top of our shoulders this time. We're going to start squatting to the right with three pulses. Are you ready? Five, six, seven. It's three, two, one. Now on this particular squat, I want you to be aware of your posture and make sure that the body weight is evenly distributed down the center as you squat. Very important here, make sure the legs are in line with one another, so one isn't going behind more. Just be aware of that, keep a check on what you're doing. Good, and again, same as before, keep the stomach muscles tight, back straight. Three, two, one, one more time. Now listen, take single counts, singles. Alternate sides, change. Good, change. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath, especially when you're doing strength work. You need to breathe to energize you. Okay, another four more singles. Here's four, three, two more. We're gonna put those last two exercises together. Give me two singles. Single again. Three pulses here, hold it. Three, two, good. Single. Single again. Three pulses. Three, two, nice. Single. Single again, three pulses, three, two, last time, single, single, three pulses, three, two, well done, march it out, excellent, how was that for you, did it feel great, good, alright, so now what I'd like you to do is take your legs wide, 
Now, have your feet at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock and weights into your waist. We're going to take a wide squat. Try and get the inner thighs facing me. Single counts, bringing it down and lift. Down, now squeeze everything consciously on the way up. Squeeze all the muscles and try and be aware of which muscles you're using when you're coming up. Now naturally, you're just going to use the strongest muscle without thinking about it. I want you to be conscious and aware and put the emphasis and effort into the weakest muscles. So maybe it's your inner thighs that need more work than your, than your front thigh. Put the effort into your inner thighs as you squeeze up. Try it, two more. A few conscious contractions. Pulse it down. Good, four more, four, three. Now stretch it out side to side, slow stretches, inner thigh, other side, and side. Good, four more of these, four. How was that for you? Was it good? Yes? We're gonna repeat that again, singles down the center and down and lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. Good, give me four more. Four, three, two more, one more. Pulse it down. Eight, seven, really feel the muscles working. Woo, don't know about you, but mine sure are. Singles again, down and up. Now, if you're getting tired, you can stop and stretch or put the weights down. It does start to get a little bit more intense from here on. So listen to your body. Really should be feeling it now in those thighs. Don't know about you, but I am. Pulse it down, last eight. Woo! This exercise reaches the parts others don't. Are you ready? Side to side and side and side. And side, good. Four more to go. Four. Believe me, it's been tried and tested. Two more, and it works. That's even better. All right, bring it in and march it out. How was that for you? Good, great. Okay, so now we're going to face sideways on. You're going to have your arms by your side, and we're going into lunges. All right. What I'd like you to do is step back with your right leg, Come up on your toes. Technique's really important on lunges. Tilt the pelvis under. As you lunge down, make sure you have two 90 degree angles. If your weight is coming over the toes, you're in the wrong position. Make sure your body weight's evenly down the center. Are you ready? Two down, two up. And down, down, lift, lift. Now lunges are fantastic. They work every muscle below the belt. And believe me, you're gonna know about it. One more double. Good, let's take singles. And down, and lift. Down, and lift. Down, good. How's it going, guys? Now the four, oh yes, it's working. We love this feeling. Woo, one more. Give me eight pulses down. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. We're gonna step it in, and step it in, and give it a shake, woo. How was that for you? It's good for me, was it good for you? Okay, ready to switch sides. Take your left leg back, get your posture right, tilt the pelvis forward. Are you ready? Two down, two up, five, six, seven. And down for two, and up for two. So these are Lardan's lovely lunges. And if it's lunchtime, it's Lardan's lovely lunchtime lunges. One more or it's lunchtime. Okay, singles. Lunges always make me go crazy, I talk too much. But you know what, helps the time go faster so you don't feel it so much. But you get the results. One more. Okay, pulse it down. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, step it in, woo! Excellent, give it a shake. All right, we're going back to the right leg. We're going to lunge back three pulses and step it back in. If you're not sure, just watch the first one. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, three, two, one, step in. Three, two, one, step in. Again, good, nice. Three, two, one, step in. Three, two, one, four more of these. Three, two, one, three more. Three, two, one, two more times. Almost there. 
Last one, we're going to straight, go straight into the left leg. Ready, head for it now, and three, two, one. Stay focused. If you're finding it hard on your balance, what I suggest you do is you spot on something unmovable. Keep your abs really engaged to support your back. That will help to, to balance you and keep your center of gravity more even. Okay, let's take two more of these. Almost there now, almost, I promise. Last one, three, two, well done, and march it out, give it a shake. Woo, all right. Now we're really going to need to do a stretch at the end of that. So place your weights down by your side. Shake out those legs, and let's give the hamstring a stretch. All the major muscle groups in the lower body have been challenged here, so make sure you give them a good stretch. Excellent, place down the toes, take your arm out, lift up, grab onto something for balance if you need to. Make sure you tilt the pelvis forward, keep the knees fairly close together and breathe deeply. From there, back to your hamstring stretch, bring it down. Hold it there. Lengthen the spine. Feel that in the back of the leg. Place it down. Take your arm out. Lift your leg up. Bend and tilt the pelvis under. Nice stretch oozing out of you, especially after those lunges. Good. Great. And release and let go. Excellent. And that brings us to the end of our squats and lunges section. Now, again, we're going to have a quick break. Please grab yourselves a drink. And when you come back, we're going down onto the floor just with our mats. And we're going to work more on the legs and bums, but all floor work. See you soon.